We all dislike 4C hair in the beginning, especially when you're a child and you don't have a clue what's going on and why your hair is not doing what Becky's hair is doing. What's up YouTube? What's cool? What's growing? What's happening? Welcome to my channel. It's time for life. So today I'm going to be removing these threads thread threaded hairstyle and we're gonna be talking about the whole doja cat situation and what she said about her hair because i went down with doja cat last week Um, you know, obviously she's a mixed girl and she's got 4C hair. Now this doesn't happen very often. So she's got that proper like afro hair, that thick hair. Nice luscious hair. But in the video that resurfaced of her, apparently she didn't like the hair very much. So people were angry, people were in their feelings because, well, this is what she said. 4C could bend over. Maybe she didn't say those exact words, I do not like my hair, but she she definitely does not like her hair according to that video, right? And she's saying good luck trying to finger comb it, good luck trying to get uh, a white tooth comb through it. I mean, okay. So if we're gonna talk about combs, eh? The real thing is, what which combs are you using? Because I, as a kid, this is my childhood comb. Hmm? Remember this guy? <laughs> this is my childhood comb. This is what was considered white tooth at some point. This is like the 90s. Hmm? But that ain't white tooth. Then we had things like this, you know, the ones that we stuck in our hair. And just kind of left there and went about our business this was one handy small cute but good for a twa a teeny weeny afro not very good if you have a lot of hair and she has a lot of hair she should be happy and lucky and call herself blessed to have that much hair for somebody that's not, that does not like her hair she's lucky that her hair is not all gone then we have this guy and this is good for parting and stuff like that but we soon realized that something like this was even better for parting because the the teeth are very small and very thin. But then we went back to the good old thing that we used in the 90s, which is this thing, the rat tail comb. Now be careful with this thing because it's sharp. Some are even sharper than this. And you can make, you can literally separate single hair strands with this thing, depending on how thin it is at the bottom. And even this part is really, really good. Then we started moving on to this for parting. So then this type of thing became kind of, well, we didn't really use it because we realized that like I said, it wasn't really as wide as we thought. It's kind of like this one, right? It's kind of like the same space in between. Then I found this gem at Superdrug and it changed my life for real, for real, for real. This guy, one pound 20 or whatever the heck it is, super cheap and it works very well because it gives you that space. It's got one here, then one on the other side, one here and one on the other side. They keep coming out with new brushes. Oh, let's not forget about the Denman brush. Denman brush, some people don't like because they say it rips out their hair. But actually, if you remove the alternate rows, it doesn't have too many teeth to actually grab onto your hair and remove it. And it still detangles very well. I never wanted to do that because I liked going through the hair and just whatever came out, came out. Like I'm not attached to the, the fallout like that. We know that we shred about 100 strands of hair every single day. So especially with this type of hair, we always have it in protective style, so it doesn't fall, it doesn't fall out. So it doesn't fall out easily. It's not like our hair is like loose. So when you do decide to comb it, all these hundred strands are coming out from Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, Sunday, whenever your wash day is, all these hair strands are falling out, right? So you don't have to freak out about that. So basically, that's another option. Now we've got the easy detangler. That's another one that actually the, the hair, the teeth move with you as you're combing, you know, your hair, right? All these type of things. This is good for your edges to just kind of get them back. They don't need to be slick. 
I'm not about that slick life and putting gel and everything and get them edges laid. My hair is 4B. I thought it was 4C before, which is why you probably see some videos of my titled 4C, but it's not actually 4C. My hair is 4B, I think. I don't know. But anywho, uh, I don't always slick them down because you don't have to. People with 3A hair, they'll be able to slick it down and look so good and they have the waves and you know that hairstyle that JLo used to do and some other folk back in the day and people are doing that today because it's very hip and happening if you don't want to do that you just use something like this the bristles are very thick hard painful but it's good to kind of get everything in check right these are the combs now you can use this guy this guy over here which by the way was sold to me by either an Indian guy or a Pakistani guy something like that he was from Asia southern Asia somewhere he's the one who owned the shop and I was there <laughs> I went inside the shop and I was looking for something to get my edges laid when I was still trying to see if I could get my edges laid because I didn't even know this is recently this is like last year and I went into the shop here comes this guy who looks nothing like anybody who would ever have this type of hair and he's like hello how can I help you I'm like okay and I didn't even know how to ask the question I'm like um I'm looking for some hmm what is this guy if I said something to get my edges laid will you even know the terminology will you know what i'm talking about this is a dude first of all but then you know these days dudes be doing their hair very good as well but a dude with his type of hair is not gonna lay any edges so i was like will you know and i asked him and he said oh come here you'll get your edges slayed your edges will be on fleek i was like oh my gosh <clears throat> and this is the problem we cannot be going into these type of stores with our you know talking about our hair in a condescending way or be out in the streets talking about our hair in a condescend condescending way it's not even our people that are in these shops selling us these things it's other people and we need to be proud about our hair there's just too much nonsense going on about hair these days and i feel like even though this is an older video of the cat that resurfaced right i'm just wondering like especially if you have a big platform or you have a platform for instance this video it might just be a handful of people that watch it but maybe years from now loads of people will flood to it hey lord willing will. hey <laughs> but you know you never know everything you put out there it's out there forever somebody will screenshot it somebody will take a video of it it is out there forever so when you're speaking there's power in the tongue there really is power in the tongue when you're speaking speak good things over yourself don't just say whatever because what she's saying about her hair there's children now that are listening to her song love it they're fans and now what Oh, Doja Cat doesn't like her hair? Well, I kind of don't like it either. And, you know, that, that is not going to help us. It is not going to help us as a people to feel this way about our hair. I saw a picture actually, where it was on Instagram, I think it was on Instagram, of a little girl. She had like a nice afro and she was standing on next to the television with a newscaster who also had the same type of afro and she's standing next to the television you can see that she's so proud she's so happy to see somebody that's why representation matters because she's seeing this from an early age i never had that when i looked at the tv all i saw was pressed down pressed down straightened hair silky smooth hair hair flowing in the wind hair beyonce-esque hair that's all i saw so guess what that is what i wanted if you are the only one around you who looks like you obviously you're not gonna you're gonna think you're you're a little bit weird you're, there's something a little bit off and what can i do to become like them and that's when the chemical straightening came in and that's what i did with my hair too i i perm my hair at somewhat of a young age you know and those days there wasn't a natural hair community like there is now now the natural hair community is so great I mean there isn't a thing that you can ask that you will not find what can i use for my hair when i've got this type of hair what can i use for my hair when i've got that type of hair and the products that you can use and some of these influencers also have coupon codes so you can get it for a bit cheaper and they give you all kinds of you know this rice water treatment who, who ain't got rice in the house even if you po you got rice in the house you know these are things that don't even have to cost a lot of money shea butter olive oil i use olive oil for my hair I've used shea, but shea butter before. I've used coconut oil before. And water is your best friend. Our hair needs moisture. This is why we don't wash it every day. Which people used to think, ew, that's disgusting. No, it's not. Because our hair is different. And even I had to learn that. I had to learn what my hair was like. 
I, I had to learn that it was different. But you learn these things on YouTube. You cannot be a whole celebrity walking out here and you do not, you, you, you don't go on YouTube and figure out some of these things. Or maybe it's these hairstylists that they have. I don't know. Maybe the hairstylists that they have, they're all about the wigs, the weaves, and that is it. The cover up, cover up, cover up. Cover up that it's not marketable. Cover up that it's not cute. Cover up that we need to make you stand out. Guess what? Stand out with your own hair. Because nobody out here is wearing their, their own hair. Just a handful of these celebrities and, and so forth are wearing their own natural, I grow out of my, my head this way hair. So what you gotta do is, is re represent. Even if you want to do the wigs and the weaves and that, there's nothing wrong with that. But every now and again, show that you're also proud to have your own hair. But apparently she is not. Or was not. Who knows? Because, you know, people's mind does change. But that's just sad. And I just wanted to come on here to say, we shouldn't be throwing those things out there. We shouldn't be putting that out there. We shouldn't be broadcasting this message to the world. It is, it is horrible. It's horrible for the people that are coming after you. They don't have the money to put all the weaves and the wigs. You know how much money it costs to get a good wig? Some of these girls out here are looking crazy. I'm sorry, but they are. They're looking crazy, wild, you know? My mom calls it a hat. Eche. That is what some of these girls be wearing because it looks like a hat, you know? And she's just been calling it a check, a hat for everybody because <laughs> it is kind of like you're just putting something on top of, you know, your natural beauty. And everybody does it. The Kardashians do it and all these type of things, but they rock their normal hair, natural hair, sometimes too. But with us, it's like we have a problem. We have a problem and it starts from a very young age. And to be honest, if people around me didn't start doing this natural hair and I didn't start seeing this natural hair movement on YouTube, I would still be out here struggling with this perm hair that had already damaged my scalp, by the way. But I would still be going through with it because it's like, that's how my hair has to be. I remembered my hair being very, very unmanageable. That's how I remembered it, right? How do you remember it? It was okay. You think it was okay? But you couldn't stand it, being combed. Yeah, because the being combed, the, the problem is that, you know, moms, caretakers, aunties, whatever, they were combing it from top to down. I don't know why. That's just what they were doing. And now we know to do it from the tip to the top. Because we, the hair is not such that you can do that. So it's not about put enough product in and then just comb it through and it'll be fine. That That's not it. You know. You have anything we else? We should be proud of ourselves. Yes. And then other people will be proud of you. Or accept you. Accept you. If you're never proud of yourself, you will not be accepted by anybody because they can see through you. Yeah. So you should be proud of what we have. Mm -hmm. So that others will see through us. Mm -hmm. But if we are not happy with how we look and how we feel, nobody will accept us. Mm -hmm. Because we are showing the wrong image of ourselves. You know, with our hair and everything, trying to copy everything that anybody else is doing. It doesn't help very much. So be black and be proud be black and be happy be bl black and feel good about yourself and don't listen to other people and what they say about you just be you being you is very very important if enough of us are ourselves mm -hmm. it would make a whole lot of difference mm -hmm. if we even don't like ourselves and this is not about saying you don't like black people i feel like we need to we need to pick it apart it's not just about not liking black people. When I was, it's not just about not liking black people. I feel like, it's not just about not liking black people. I feel like we should pick it apart. When I was younger, it was, Ew, why are their lips so big? It's disgusting. How, how do you even kiss that? Ew, 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 ew. Then it was, Ew, why is her butt so big? I'm talking about playground stuff, okay? This stuff that was said to me and others. Ew, why is her butt so big? Look at it, it's so round. It's sticking out, ew. I had a teacher who would tell another black chick, she had a bigger bum than me, honey. She was standing there. <laughs> she was standing, she used to stand and it looked like she was purposefully protruding her bum. So what did this teacher do? She was like, mm-mm. You ain't finna walk up here in my classroom like that. This is how you stand. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This teacher was teaching this girl how to stand because she felt like that that's not how you stand. If you're gonna stand, you don't stand that way. This is how you stand. <laughs> Just like bring it. And she looked crazy. And it was every day. This teacher would be monitoring. These days that would not happen. This is in the 90s. And everything went those days. Is it the 90s? Yes, it was the 90s. The 90s. 
And I remember that to this day. It was traumatizing to the point where I would walk in the class and be like, well, better, better straighten, up, straighten up a little bit because otherwise I'll be next. Literally made a mockery of in front of the class. Although I wouldn't be next because I don't take crap from nobody. I don't care who you are. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Even back then, I was like, what? That is crazy. You don't understand black uh, anatomy, you know. The lips were disgusting. The bomb was disgusting. And then, yeah, this hair. People always had a lot to say about the hair. And then, so here I went perming the hair. And if I, when I look back at pictures now, I look crazy. Some of the pictures. I look, I look crazy. It just doesn't look like something that's supposed to be. Like, think about it. We, were, we, were we born with a perm? No. It's just not supposed to be, necessarily. I mean, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. I see some girls. They do it. They do it nicely. They know how to do it. It looks normal. It looks natural for uh, however natural a perm can look, right? It looks natural. They, they've not fried it. I think I was frying the hair. Because you so desperately want it to be so straight. As you remember, we used to cook the hair. For real, for real. Mm. It, it used to cook. That's it. You would feel it burning. We have that thing. A stretching comb. Or oh, the stretching comb on top of it. See, the old type. Yeah, the one you put in the oven. These day or what oven on a fire, uh, on a fire. <laughs> whatever I don't know but anyway these days you wouldn't really do that necessarily I don't think you I don't even know what these girls do these days permit and then immediately apply heat like that but back in the day it was anything to get the hair bone straight and so when I see videos like this it it it, it makes me it makes me sad because this is a whole gross woman and she's got a whole platform and this is what she's choosing to do with it I saw a lot of comments saying uh, instead of the time that she's spending doing these things because also there was a whole drama with her being on this chat site called tiny chat there was a whole drama on her being on that chat site and talking to supposedly allegedly because you have to say that supposedly allegedly white supremacists on on those chats people were like yeah she she's got to find better things to do with herself you're a whole rich accomplished young beautiful lady um Go watch some YouTube tutorials about how to fix your hair because there's loads out there. The struggle is the struggle is real. We all went through it, okay? We all went through it and yet we're here, you know? Started from the bottom, now we're here. We didn't know how to deal with it. We didn't know how to take care of it. And people took it into their own hands and said, you know what? I'm chopping all this fried hair off and I'm starting afresh, you know? All these type of things. So, I don't know. I've got nothing else to say. Anywho, uh, that was my two cents. If you want to be part of the family, make sure you hit bum stump, add something that subscribe button, comment because I want to know what you think, like because you obviously like this video, whilst you're at it, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one, which will be very soon. As always, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye. I don't know. No, that's how I end my thing. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.